So do you see India would make study of Sanskrit mandatory in school? The, your opinion, that's the question. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think that more than just a language, uh, we should study. My relationship with Sanskrit is mantra. I, I practice mantra. I understand. I want to. Exp I want to take a mantra and really get into it. Take me a many long time and really feel it, embody it, experience it, see its effects. So to me, the Sanskriti part of Sanskrit is more important. And then the the uh, the uh, the philosophy contained in it, the non-translatables. So to me, if you if somebody just says they're speaking English all the time, I would say that okay, take these uh, 50 or 100 non-translatables. And that Sanskrit word, make it part of your English vocabulary. Don't translate Atman as soul. Don't. Just say Atman all the time. And you can keep speaking English, but use that word. Yeah. So if you, like we don't translate yoga as exercise or gymnastics or something. We say yoga. So similarly, you can, you can add large vocabulary of Sanskrit non-translatables to the English speaking people. And that way, even though the rest of their vocabulary is English and they're speaking English, they become Sanskritized. We can even Sanskritize English by doing that. We can Sanskritize English by doing that. So we need a multi, multi-pronged attack. So there'll be some who will become Sanskrit speakers. There'll some who will be highly Sanskritized in their thinking and practice of mantra, and they may speak some other language but highly Sanskritized. You see. So I think the, the government needs to think of it in that way.